BMW's future revealed, the BMW Vision New E-Class concept is a study of what the next generation of BMW cars will look like, telegraphing the brand's transformation as it ushers in a new era. The latest concept, which precedes the first New E-Class, New Class car in 2025, is complete with BMW's signature kidney grille and Hofmeister folding roof rack treatment at the Munich Motor Show as well as a new car, architecture, electric powertrain and sixth-generation e-drive technology. The result? Cars with 30% more range, 30% faster charging and 25% more efficiency. If it looks familiar, if something so different to BMW can look familiar, that's because BMW bought that look to the more funky iVision concept V earlier this year. Look for at least six of these new EVs in the first 24 months. First, expect the i3 sedan, presumably similar to the 3 Series concept, and the X3 SUV, followed by the X5 midsize SUV in 2026. The X7 SUV in 2027, and the X6 and IXM SUVs by the end of the decade. BMW's Vision Holger Hamph president of DesignWorks, says the vision concept is a sedan with a new face in a purpose-built architecture, with short sides, an emphasis on 21-inch wheels and a distinctive light signature. At the rear, the car features a sharply angled, square tail with black composite plastic bumpers and funky rectangular taillights on each side. The new E-Class will create cars of various sizes and shapes. Reminiscent of the new E-Class 2002, with hard surfaces intersected by sharp lines. Hamf says the new light cue is a departure for BMW. Replacing the chrome, and thus the part number, around the car with wake-up lights and graphics to greet the driver. The look is less masculine, more elegant and has a 3D quality. Hamf says this isn't a response to the growing size of the kidney grills that adorn various modern BMWs, it's just that it's time to take a big step in a different direction. The front dual headlights are integrated with the kidneys, creating more space for sensors. Yes, the concept has cameras for the side mirrors and no door handles, sensors open the doors. The glass roof extends the length of the car. It is laminated and can be tinted to combine shades. The charging port is located on the rear quarter panel on the driver's side. Clean interior inside. The concept features four molded seats with futuristic headrests, stunning gold corduroy fabric, ambient lighting and seat belts integrated into the B-pillar. The black speckled composite plastic floor has barber-like carpeting and white Alcantara-like material on the doors and dash. The materials are durable and reusable. A single rectangular infotainment screen sits in the center of the dash to connect to the panoramic screen and dictate what's displayed on the windshield, which all four passengers can see. Surprisingly, the shifter is still on the center console a black stick that you push back and forth through three positions. The concept's sparse console has no room for glasses, phones or other items. The production car will add a center tunnel for cup holders and storage. The iDrive of the future it's not just the overall look, but a new user experience with the new iDrive and the debut of panoramic vision which projects information in the driver's line of sight and extends it across the width of the windshield, complementing the improved head-up display. Dot. On the road in 2025, this next-generation iDrive allows both driver and passenger to interact with displayed information and navigate it through a new central infotainment screen. When cars are certified for Level 3 autonomous driving, information is displayed through a new augmented reality that will allow gaming. The system has four super brains for faster calculations. The new multifunction steering wheel is flat top and bottom, so no, it's not a yoke, and moving the iDrive controls here signals a new era for the system. 
while also freeing up space on the center console that houses the dreaded iDrive button. To the right of the steering wheel is a panel that you slide with your thumb to control the HUD and iDrive functions, to the left of the wheel is the cruise control. It's a wild-looking and asymmetrical steering wheel, with more space on the right than on the left. Building the future Nui class vehicles will be assembled globally, including at the Spartanburg plant in South Carolina, which will produce electric SUVs. It all starts in 2025 at a factory under construction in Debrecen, Hungary, followed by production in Munich and Shenyang, China in 2026. San Luis Potosi in Mexico will produce sedans and SUVs in 2027. Many battery plants are also planned. A battery plant and vehicle assembly in Spartanburg begin in 2027. Work continues on the vehicle and battery side to improve range, charging time and efficiency, including new generation wheel designs and tires. The new E-Class Save Sports Activity Vehicle will reduce energy consumption by up to 25%, while the sedan will reduce consumption by up to 20%. BMW's sixth-generation powertrain has a highly integrated e-drive unit that reduces energy loss by up to 40%. The cars have an 800-volt system for higher speed charging, and the high-voltage battery is 20% more dense, engineers say. The automaker claims that tests show the new powertrain makes cars 40% more efficient in winter conditions, 25% lighter and 20% cheaper.